Today we head over to Pearl Harbor, something we've all wanted to see on this trip. Dana's Grandpa Brown was actually stationed at Pearl Harbor shortly after the attack and served three to four years as an Army medic there. The first thing we did was go to the USS Arizona Memorial. The memorial is built over the remains of the sunken battleship. The USS Arizona is the final resting place for many of the 1,177 crewmen killed on December 7, 1941, when their ship was bombed by Japanese naval forces. Next, we headed over to the USS Bowfin. Could you imagine sleeping above a torpedo? The USS Bowfin is a fleet attack submarine that fought in the Pacific during World War II. The Bowfin was launched on December 7, 1942, exactly one year after the attack on Pearl Harbor. She was nicknamed the Pearl Harbor Avenger, so it is fitting that her permanent home is at Pearl Harbor. The Bofin claimed 39 Japanese merchant ships, depicted by the white flag with the red circle in the middle. It also claimed four Japanese military ships, depicted by the Japanese flag. The single French flag represents a French merchant ship. Oh, there is a huge turtle right there. After being decommissioned on March 31, 1992, the USS Missouri, the Mighty Mo, remained idle until she became a museum ship at Pearl Harbor in 1998. The USS Missouri is an Iowa-class battleship, one of only four, the USS Iowa, the USS Missouri, the USS Wisconsin, and the USS New Jersey. USS Iowa class battleships were the most heavily armed ships the US Navy has ever put to sea. The Missouri was the last battleship commissioned by the United States. Got a sink and a basket of bed, huh? See that? Yeah. She said a computer, is that what you said? I said, yes, we have a taxi. That is pretty darn close to the first computer I had.
Mm -hmm. Yep. They look almost exactly like that. Just a little bit smaller. Smaller? It's a little bit. It rained most of the day while we were at Pearl Harbor, but it's a good thing we went when we did because the next day it was closed as a precautionary measure to help prevent the spread of the novel coronavirus. Dana can sometimes be a little hard on her camera. The USS Missouri is best remembered not for her role in defeating the aliens in the movie Battleship, but rather as a site for the surrender of Japan, which ended World War II. Dana wouldn't be cut out for active military duty. And now for the one minute tour of the rest of the USS Missouri. Navy's version of the Game Center. The last stop for the day was the Pacific Aviation Museum at Pearl Harbor and Hangar 37. This is actual wreckage of a Japanese Zero that was shot down during the attack on Pearl Harbor. This plane is an N2S-3 Stearman. The museum calls this the Bush Stearman because President George H.W. Bush made several solo flights in this very plane while becoming the youngest Navy pilot to earn his wings. Kyle and I tried our hands at a flight simulator, and let's just say if you're an enemy pilot, you are pretty safe. This is the control tower on Ford Island, and was the location of the first radio alert for the attack of Pearl Harbor. It has been seen in such movies as Tor Tor Toro and Pearl Harbor. And that's where we're going to call it a day. If you want to continue to follow our adventures, subscribe and come back next time as we continue to do it across America.